St. Lucia is once again set into turmoil as January 21st, 2024 confirmed yet another homicide for the year. The residents of the Balata community were startled by the shooting where Gillian Talian, also known as GT, succumbed to his fatal injuries after being rushed to the OKU hospital. A resident of the area depicted the scene as he stood on his balcony. Two of them was having an agreement right there. So, so after they have an agreement, after have, have the boy walk on, the walk, walk down, and the one with a green shot, green shot, and he went with the gun, I hear, pow! Just like that. So my daughter said to me, Dad, Dad, they kill our family. I said, you joking, are you? I said, it's when you joking. He said, yes, Dad, look, my cousin, look, look, Juna on the floor there. His name is Juna. I said, look, Juna right on the floor. He's in the floor, Dad. They kill our family. She sat panicking. I said, I say, my God, you see, daughter, a long time I've been keeping saying, saying, saying. Those boys there over there, my friend, they always they have an agreement with each other. Young people, they always have an agreement. I say, if they don't be careful, they're going to be a death and discount in that place. And look at what happened. Look at what happened. He fell on our own family. The Balata resident believes that if the people in his community showed more interest in religion instead of violence, this homicide would never have taken place. He shall never do me nothing wrong. From the time I know, he never do. It's always cousin Gomez, cousin Gomez, always respect each other. If he don't have a few shillings, he come in there, he asks me, I give him. Right? So myself, we never have no agreement between two of us. You understand? But I know young people sometimes, they have agreement with each other. That's why he lost his life. Mm. If he did listen to my, if he did listen to me, today he should be alive because he died by violence. He don't die by God, he died by violence. Another resident from the community describes Talian as a jovial man, typically not prone to this type of violence. Junior is just a, a, a guy, he, he, he kind of jovial, eh? you know. He's not a man that will terrorize your area to see where well, people will be afraid to have him. You know, wrong there. Because there are certain people, when you have in your area, you don't feel comfortable with them. He's not one of those guys. He's a guy, he, he's just, he likes his drink, his friends, his bling, he likes chin, you know, he's, he bling down, he likes to dress. But I can't find much bad, bad to say about him. Junior is a guy, he's, to me, he was a very nice guy, to me, yeah? but he wasn't like a violent guy. Talian's death marked the seventh homicide for 2024, with many residents from the Balata community wondering what can be done to contain this spree of violence that has infected the island. For Choice News Now, this is Obi Offer reporting.